If you love brunch, and we all do, and like pets and great music, then you'll want to head over to the inaugural Brunch Fest. This morning, the SPCA's Dean Howard is here with Chef Mary Jane Roses from the Cheesy Cajun Restaurant. And why do you call it Cheesy Cajun? Because uh, we're just that cheesy <laughs> and that Cajun. All right, and but, but, but the guy who owns the place, uh, your boss, uh, he's from outside of Opelousa, so he is Cajun. Yes, sir. And he owns property in Wisconsin, and he gets a lot of Wisconsin cheese, so that, that's the cheesy part. Yes. All right, and, and now, now tell us about this, this brunch fest you're doing. Sure, we're celebrating all things brunch. That's music, fantastic brunch cocktails. Is this the first brunch, brunch fest? I don't know about any brunch fest. It is the only brunch fest right oh, okay. now. Okay. So we are celebrating the first year, and we're excited to be in City Park. We're actually going to be behind Noma. We were going to be in front, but just because of some crazy weather this week, we want to play it safe and high and dry in Roosevelt Mall. So you can't miss us. We'll be right by Tad Gormley Stadium. Like I mentioned, we're celebrating everything from great brunch food, like restaurants from around the city, to brunch cocktails. We're even having a Bloody Mary contest. And that's going to be on Sunday. That'll be after uh, Hogs of the Cause. Exactly. Yeah. Cause is Friday, Saturday. We're Sunday. All right, that's good. And, and now, you know, I always ask you guys at the SPCA, do you guys have a, a team of people that sit around and think up things? Because you guys come up with the most unique events. We actually sat, the development team and I sat down for two days and really hashed this out and wanted to see what people were asking us to do. At the same time, kind of filling in a little niche that um, New Orleans didn't have. We all love brunch. It could be a hassle getting all those people together on a Sunday. Yeah. So this way, we're pulling these great restaurants together, all your favorite cocktails together, and making it pet friendly so you could bring your dogs out to the city or out to the city park and enjoy the day. And now, Mary Jane, tell us a bit about uh, Cheesy Cajun because you've only been open for about uh, three or four months. Four months now, yeah. Uh, we were located over there on in the Bywater. It's at 3325 St. Claude. And do you try to put cheese in everything since the name is Cheesy? Um, a lot of it, yeah. A lot. Uh, even in bread pudding, you put a little cheese. Yes, sir. Which We've is got really a, little, a little nice uh, Parmesan. And uh, so, so tell us what goes into your bread pudding. Um, well, we got, uh, this is a basic custard, just milk and uh, eggs. And then I'm just going to take that and put it over the bread. And then saute uh, onions, garlic, which I've already done here. Yeah. And then the crawfish. And then just, just kind of leftover. This is like, more of a savory bread pudding, yes, then, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, and then like anything, if you have uh, the you know, your boil from the yeah. day before. It's almost like a gumbo bread pudding. Kind of. Oh. I mean, yeah. you got everything in it. Just, so let, let's start. We'll dump right. the bread in? Yep. No, actually, we just do like hit this well, there. I didn't want to tell you what to do. But. No. And, you use, and, and the thing about bread pudding is that you, you get the stale bread. Yes, sir. And now tell us about, the, about the, um, um, what you're trying to raise the money for. and. It all stays here at the SBCA. Correct. All the proceeds from all of our um, major events go towards the programs and services and, of course, the animals that we care for. About 36000 annually, and that's owned animals, animals that we transport out, animals that we adopt, animals from other parishes that we actually send to different locations. Because a lot adopted. of folks assume you guys get city funding. You do get city funding, but that's just to round up strays. Correct. That's actually just our humane law program. So all the other programs that you see from our great adoption programs, our children's programs, are actually funded through private donations. All right, and you're working on this, so you're cooking up that first? Yes, sir. When does the, the bread pudding actually come into the mix? Oh, you're going to see. Okay. Shortly. Well, we only got like 30 seconds, so got do it, it quick. One, two, three. Ugh. The whole corn goes in there? Oh, the whole <laughs> corn. Let me see this, and then I've got... Oh, maybe it was back in. Well, you know. All right, so then this all goes into there, and you'll mix it up. We'll have it all ready for the end of the show. Yes, sir. All right, very good. Now, the Brunch Fest is free as... Free, pet friendly, a free festival. It's a free fest. Boy, they can't get better than that. It's uh, this Sunday morning. It goes on from 10 till 3 in the afternoon. There'll be uh, great food. You pay for the food and stuff. Correct. Pay I for the food and alcohol. Uh, and then there's music, pets, all kinds of stuff. If you'd like more information about the first ever brunch fest in New Orleans over at City Park, just go to our website, wwltv.com, and click on links on four. And of course, we'll get you right to their website.